My name is Joyce Lloyd, and I'm the bid chair for LA in 2026. We are bidding for August 27th through the 31st of 2026, Anaheim, California, United States. Um, just to give you a quick FYI, Labor Day is September 7th that year, so week ahead of time. So you can come to our convention if we have it, and then you can actually just go on to do whatever you want to do on Labor Day, Burning Man, Dragon Con, whatever you feel like. <laughs> um, we will be once again at the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, and the reason we have the following facilities. Nicely neat. Anaheim Convention Center North, which is the ACC North, which is a new facility since 2020. 2006, the last time we were there, 20 years ago. We'll be at the Anaheim Convention Center Arena, which is the same arena that we were at in 2006. We will be at the Anaheim Hilton. We have both function space and sleeping rooms at the Hilton. And at the Anaheim Marriott, we have picked up some sleeping rooms as well. Why do we do this? Because it's all easy access. We are all within walking distance of every location we have. It is literally uh, a few minutes walk outside the Anaheim Hilton to get into the ACC North. It is a few extra minutes to get over to the arena. Uh, it is easy access from the Anaheim Marriott to get into the main convention center and you can come down the halls or you can cut through the Hilton if you want to. It is just all nice and neat and a nice little snug area. Very, very convenient. I can, <laughs> I will sit up, how about that? The ACC North is the new facility that we will be using. It is three levels. Literally, you have the 100 level, you have the plaza level, and then you have the 200 level. And it's a kind of a keen building all together. It's easy access to and from the Hilton. You've got an attached parking garage, multi-tier, and it's fully carpeted, especially our exhibit hall. Let's look at the bottom level. That's the 100 level North. This is a fully arrangeable room. It can be completely open. We can have locked rooms. We can have all kinds of configurations down here that we need for the exhibits that we may have. That allows us to have the dealer's room, the art show, the exhibits, special exhibits, um, all of that downstairs. It's really nice. On the second level, which is what we kind of call the plaza level, it is just basically the walkway that goes through the two levels. It's, it's your level that you go in, you can register at. We're going to have our information desks, our, any assistance desks that we need in the re standard registration area. The big blue spot on that, the 100 level, that is, it's, oh, the, the 100 level expands up through this level. So you can actually, in the middle of the plaza level there, you can actually look in through a glass window and look down on the dealer's hall. Okay, so it's kind of cool. There are two elevators on either side of this, this area, and there's escalators going up and down here as well. Mm -hmm. The ACC North 200 level is actually one of my favorite places. This is completely configurable as well, but what I love about this is the Catella Terrace to the, on the right of your screen, left, left of your screen, sorry. Um, those open out into those doors, so you can actually have those doors, those rooms there, walk out into the terrace. So if you want to have a workshop that maybe has something that smells a little strong or something, you can move people out to the terrace. You want to have a reception or something <laughs> that you want to put out there, you can actually have them mingle on the terrace. The other area is the pre-function terrace, which is also out in the open. Lots of nice open space for you to go to if you get a little hot on the inside or you just need to get away and just get some fresh air. You can just walk outside. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Then the ACC Arena. This is where we had these. This is the same facility we used in 2006. This seats up to 7,500 without a stage. So you're going to have plenty of seating in here. We don't have, I'm not overly concerned about running out of space for the Hugos. But this is where we would have the Hugo Awards, the masquerades, or the special events. The nice thing that comes with this is the arena also comes with a couple extra rooms called the AR1 and the AR2 which is additional programming space if we want it. It can be backstage if we want it. It can be utilized for a lot of different areas. It can also be combined into one. Um, I've just shown you here some of the seating arrangements that they have available. Uh, they, it's just what I had to show you for today. The other facilities we have is the Anaheim Hilton. Now the Anaheim Hilton has up to 150,000 square feet of traditional function space. This is, we also already have 1,300 sleeping rooms tentatively locked and we are locked in currently at 179 plus tax room rate for those rooms. 
the Anaheim Hilton gives us a lot of nice space, and this is where we get to have a little bit of fun. Um, we have the Pacific Ballroom as our second stage, or possibly our third stage, depending on what was necessary. The Mezzanine Terrace provides us several small programming rooms, and the concourse level is a nice mix of both medium and small program rooms. Then we have the pool deck. The pool deck, we have locked in the lanai deck. Now, the lanai deck is kind of a fascinating little place at Hilton because the lanai deck is an open patio outside that has sleeping rooms all the way around it. And what we do in those sleeping rooms is we have parties. <laughs> and all the parties enter into the plaza hotel. So you enter from the patio into the rooms. So you have this big, giant social space where all your parties are interactive, but in sleeping rooms, it's traditional. It's a great, really, it's just wonderful. It was a lot of fun in 2006. Um, we also do have a corkage waiver in process. Um, basically, what the hotel has said to us is, oh, you don't need to worry about a corkage waiver. As long as they're not asking for anything from the hotel, we're fine. But we said, can we please have language? And they said, okay, write it up and we'll put it in. So we're in good shape. <laughs> The Anaheim Marriott um, is our other hotel that we are going to have. It'll be our, basically our overflow sleeping rooms. Um, we're estimating about 300 tentatively. Um, currently, we are locked in at 199 plus tax rate with them. And that is all of our facilities. Um, I only wanted to talk about the facilities because, as you know, I've been held up for a long time on this on my bid because we didn't have those in house. And so it's the first time I've been able to show them off. <laughs> so. I um, guess at this time, I'll just people can submit questions on cards. We do see questions coming in. Um, let's ask a few. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's start with some online uh, first. Uh, will the plaza at the Anaheim Hilton be smoke free? And this includes cannabis. Um, all of Marriott's, all the properties in uh, California are smoke free. Period. That includes any types of cannabis. Um, uh, I, vaping, anything that is not allowed. It's smoke free. Smoke, period. Completely smoke free. Great. And um, how far to Disneyland? It's, it's okay. Technically, it is one point zero miles, but <laughs> we have we have buses to get us there, and it takes about twenty five minutes to walk it. Uh, a healthy person, twenty five minutes to walk it. It could take longer depending on any. <laughs> Um, do you have plans for uh, hybridization and virtual access? We are we are currently in the consideration page because there's a lot of different ways to approach the hybrid. And since we're a little bit far out, we're kind of wanting to get our, our feet wet with it a little bit first. Um, we want to see what it is best for us at this point because things change. And, and it, but in the three years that we'll be doing this, things are going to change even from Glasgow to Seattle to, to even to get to us. So we do are planning it, just don't know what shape it's going to take yet. Okay. Uh, considering that Disneyland is so close, can you see the fireworks at Disney from your facilities? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your social media uh, presence? Uh, like? Currently, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're going to Blue Sky. Um, I know Twitter is kind of the place we don't really want to be, but we also want to lock in that address to us so that nobody else can control it and post in our place. Uh, are you taking free supports? Yes, we are. And we'll be serving a breakfast tomorrow here um, at SmothCon, and we would love to have you talk to you then. Uh, let's get all of those. Yeah. All of those. Uh, is there anything you want to add to what you've already put in your um, questionnaire about the human rights situation in your country or region? Well, it's, <laughs> I want to say no, not because I don't want to, but it's just because it's it's such a nebulous um discussion about the United States versus just California. And I think that question is a little bit broad for my area. Last call for questions for LA. All right, Joyce, you're free, fly. 